New dispatch audio reveals chaotic moments outside the Rendezvous Lounge early Sunday morning. Calling party advice during 75 sound of shots and several parties screaming. Kansas City police say at least 100 shots were fired at the club just off I-49 and Blue Ridge Boulevard. One man was seriously hurt. KCTV5's Emily Rittman joins us live now from that scene. Emily, are you seeing any of that damage out there? Carolyn, yes, all these days later, you'll still find shattered glass in several spots, and that's because bullets not only hit the club, but they hit windows and cars that were parked in the parking lot. So far, no charges have been filed. The rendezvous is shot all up. The rendezvous lounge is boarded up from Sunday morning's barrage of bullets. The shooting was heard by officers patrolling in the area. I'm not exactly sure where it's coming from, but I'm kind of guessing 470 Blue Ridge. I just heard about 70, 70 to 80 shots. Sounds like two different guns. Then dispatchers answered several 911 calls. Witnesses told police that club security tried to break up two fights by using pepper spray. We are now receiving a disturbance, sound of shots. Calling party advised, five to six men outside fighting in the street. While two males with a gun heard two sound of shots and a lot of cars were blocking the roadway. Calling party advised during 75 sound of shots and several parties screaming. Approximately 100 sound of shots. When police arrived, they found a man outside of the club with life-threatening injuries. Investigators collected more than 100 shell casings at the scene from five different guns. Sort of an ambulance for a party. It looks like he's been shot in the mouth. We're like right in front of the rendezvous. We know that there was a, uh, a, a nightclub where a disturbance had broken out and several fights had started that kind of spilled out into the parking lot area and, and into the street. Last November, 31-year-old Raymond Douglas was shot and killed after an incident at Rendezvous Lounge spilled out into a parking lot near the club. KCTV5 checked with the manager of Kansas City Regulated Industries, who said they don't have any complaints on file for the business, which was purchased by new ownership last year. The liquor license was issued August 3rd, 2020. He added they are aware of Sunday's shooting and are looking further into it. And police are reviewing surveillance video from the area. They did take two people into custody for questioning that have been released as the investigation is ongoing. They are asking anyone who may have been a witness to come forward with information. Reporting live, Emily Rittman, KCTV5 News. What a scene. Emily, thank you for the update.